Hi, I'm Jeff Hodge, and welcome to the Grow Your Own Vegetable course. I've been growing veg for more than 20 years at home, on the patio, and on my allotment. And I've written two books on the subject, the RHS Allotment Handbook and the RHS Allotment Journal. On this course, you'll find out how to grow perfect, healthy, tasty veg, everything from peas and beans to tomatoes and sweet corn. Everything you need to know to get your crops from plot to plate. Enjoy! Fruiting Vegetables This group of vegetables are all cold and frost sensitive and so need careful management at the beginning of the growing year and at the end. They can be grown outdoors, but some, such as aubergines or eggplants, peppers and some varieties of cucumbers and tomatoes will crop much better when grown to maturity in a greenhouse, polytunnel or frame. Raising from seed Although some of these crops can be sown directly outside in mid to late spring, sweet corn and courgettes or zucchini are good examples, most will perform much better if sown indoors in small pots with heat. This not only ensures a reliable supply of plants, but also reduces the effects of cold weather in spring and allows plants to get off to a flying start. Because of their cold sensitivity, sowing and planting out times need to be carefully thought about as you don't want to plant them out too early. Thorough hardening off before planting outside is essential to prevent the plants having a check to their growth. This means that plants are gradually acclimatised to the cooler, outdoor temperatures over 10 to 14 days. Start by putting them outside in a warm sheltered spot during the day covered with fleece, then during the day but without the fleece, then overnight with fleece until finally they can tolerate being outside all day without protection. Buying plants you can buy young plants of a wide range of fruiting vegetables and these are a good alternative where you can't produce the right conditions for seed germination and growing on. A new development from Sutton's is grafted plants. These plants are grown on a selected rootstock which gives the plants more strength and vigour, ensuring they crop well even in poor conditions, can outcompete several diseases and often start cropping earlier and continue cropping later, producing higher yields. Grafted plants of tomatoes, aubergines or eggplants, peppers, cucumbers and squashes are available from the company. Growing outdoors. Outdoors, all these crops need a warm, sunny, protected position. The soil should be fertile and well drained, but able to hold adequate moisture as they need a constant, regular water supply. Careful attention to soil preparation and even growing in specially prepared planting pockets will ensure bigger crops. Do anything you can to protect the young plants while they're establishing outside, including covering them with cloches. Nearly all, apart from the mammoth pumpkins, squashes and marrows, can be grown in containers. Now these can either be 23 to 25 centimeter, that's 9 to 10 inch pots filled with good potting compost or growing bags. But when using bags, extra care must be taken with watering and feeding as the small volume of compost they contain quickly dries out, leading to poor crops and cultural problems such as blossom end rot on tomatoes. Planting pockets. For those crops that produce large fruit, cucumbers, marrows, pumpkins and squashes, you'll get better results if you grow in planting pockets. These will hold lots of moisture and ensure large crops. Two to three weeks before seed sowing or planting out young plants, dig holes about 30 centimetre, that's 12 inches square and deep, and fill with a mixture of compost or well-rotted manure and soil. Leave a low mound at the top of the planting medium and sprinkle a general fertiliser over the soil. Feeding and watering. To ensure fruits swell and reach their full size, regular watering is needed. A check in growth can reduce overall yield and quality. And allowing the plants to dry out can allow the skin to harden. At the next watering, the sudden uptake of water causes the skin to crack. Being fruiting plants, it is also essential to make sure they have plenty of potash, which is needed to promote good flower production, flower set and fruiting. Potash can also encourage good flavour in crops like tomatoes. 
So feed regularly when the plants are fruiting with a high potash liquid fertilizer, such as a tomato feed.